Oh, I actually clicked on the friggin' gummy. Am intelligible, gent. Well, at least the start button works. That's all I care about. Do I care about the story? Not particularly, but I'm just gonna watch it anyway. Because I haven't seen this in ages. I don't like that. Oh well. Can't can't be helped. God, that that game seems the game seems incredibly loud over there. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Okay. Now I remember how to control this game. All it took was that cursory first touch on stuff, and I remembered how to play, it, how to control it. I do not like those random frame drops, but I'm okay with it. Somehow I hit that. Also learning the wildest stuff about this game because of somebody recently playing it for their own YouTube channel. It's kind of weird. Like, this is just... It's straight up a homing attack. Like, that blows my mind. That this game conceptualized the homing attack. Anyway, I'm gonna go hop in the cannon now. I'm already at the cap for all this. I've... Watching somebody else play this, like, made me think this was faster than I remembered in my youth, but no. It's not fast at all. And not even difficult, really. Yeah, it seems like the game is still, like, freaking loud. All oh, right, and that gets rid of my shield. That gets rid of one. I lose one of everything. I should reconfigure. I should configure dead zone for this, or put. Or put movement options on the D-pad. There. I, I got enough rings now.
Yeah, it's enough rings to finish to finish out this level. Seeing as I have enough rings to finish out this level, I don't have to be as meticulous as I used to be about it. This part because Tails just chilled down here in, in Area 1 for no reason. Oh, hi Ravenstar. Thanks for or thanks for coming out. I didn't know what I wanted to play tonight, other than I didn't know what I wanted to like specifically play tonight, so I just kind of started with this. I don't know what all I'm gonna play. I kind of wanted to go do raids in Pokemon. I kind of wanted to play Borderlands 2. Kind of wanted to play Shovel Knight King of Cards. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of tossed between. I'm kind of in a toss up between several games right now that I want to play, and I couldn't decide on which one for the most part. So I might end up playing it all. Now sit and bear witness to a game that Young Scooter played for countless hours on end, because he liked the weird games and not the and not the fun ones. <laughs> bear witness to Scooter sneezing. Ugh, God. Ugh. I'm good. Ah. Uh, see, I never, I never, I never had a PlayStation growing up, so I never got the opportunity to play a lot of Spyro. It was, it's a miracle I even like played Crash Team Racing as much as I did growing up. Cause I was one of those, you know. Dang it, that's not the end of it. I was one of those, I'm, I was one of those classic, Nintendo is the best, everything else is bad kind of people growing up. So getting me to play anything other than a Mario or a Zelda was not happening. All right, I already got two emeralds. Ugh. I'll be good. Oh boy, we get to do the song and dance again where I have to collect all the rings. Collecting 50 rings so I can go visit one one of the Bird King Kids Club, aka the Sonic stuff. Oh boy. Just come to me. You come to me as well. Thank you. I forgot how rough this controls on assist on the on my setup without proper dead zones uh, setup. Uh, let's see, Clint. Okay, now I can go visit one of, one of the animal buddies. As soon as I find that last flicky emerald. Where is small animal friend? Did I actually lose it? Dang! I know it's been a while since I last played this game, but dang! 
Oh, is it? no, it's not just chilling up here. This is... This lets me be reckless, though. Found it. I'm trying to think, is that is that the one I have that I picked up randomly? Because I was like, oh boy, I should play a Spyro game. This was many years before Spyro uh, had the uh, Ignited Trilogy. And I and before I had a PlayStation games or PlayStation system, so I could go pause this really quick and go check my vast collection in the back and see if that is actually the game in question. Wonders of emulating. I really need to upgrade my computer. It's not it's not that I don't have the ability to at this point, it's more or less I just I've been very being I've been very uh hesitant about asking my friend I usually go to for computer stuff. Cause like Oh here, let me do this really quick. Let me pause it while I do a couple things. Uh, you said GameCube. Down he goes! Ugh. Ow. Okay, and up he returns. I have no idea if you if my butt was on prime display while I did my fantastic dive. So, yes, it was Enter the Dragonfly that I picked up for cheap thinking, oh, I should play a Spyro game. Well, that lets me know this game is going to be amazing when I eventually get around to it. Doesn't even have progressive scan scanning. Dang. Well, that sucks. Hi, Weaver. Also, because it's going to lag eventually because it's my computer doing th several things at once, I am emulating this game right now. And before anybody tries to call the, pi the pirate police on me, you don't need to. I own the game. I'm going to keep that right there in case the pirate police try and come swoosing right in. I have to click the game window. Go me. There we go. Got it all. Come here. Come at me, bro. Let's see. Necessary shield. Because this game controls about as good as it feels. Or about as good as it looks. Hey, look, shoes. Oh, well, there went a shield. Yeah, this I am playing the Genesis version, which I feel like there's been a debate. Some people have a debate on this. What's the better version between Saturn and the Genesis version? But, like, Genesis just seems to have the better soundtrack. Oh, right, this. Ha ha. This issue. Oh, right, I've got them all. Uh, was there, oh, was there a dude down? No, but this, okay. 
So hey, Weaver, I learned something about this game recently because of a certain Rao Cow. I gotta go find an enemy. Hold on. Hey, Weaver, did you know that this game actually had homing attack? This great, this orange shield is a homing attack. Oh, let me get my extra life before you take it all away. Thank you. Yeah, I learned that because of Raukau. It's literally jump and jump again, and you homing attack with the, and it's only with that orange shield. It's not a it's not a thunder shield like all of us who played Sonic Three thought. It's actually just the homing attack. The first slip up of many. It's, it's gonna happen. Eh, Sonic controls are. Sonic, Sonic controls are much simpler in in uh, this time period of Sonic's life, where for the most part you literally just have a button. The jump button. And most older Sonic games is like you held down, you did a spin dash. This game, uh, the middle of the three buttons is the spin dash. Is the spin dash. That's it. Controls aren't hard. There you are. There's really nothing else I really need to do, need to do here, except, uh, what's this? Oh, another homing attack shield. And a cannon. I've done everything in this area, right? Might as well test out things. Hell yeah, where the hell am I? I went back to the first area. I don't remember half the stuff I thought I knew about this game. Right, it's over here. <laughs> Could have ended the stage, but no hat. Could have ended the stage, but no, just had to go explore. Nah, I already been the knuckles. Uh, let's see, cannon is or end ring, flicky ring, whatever it wants to be called this time, is there. Anyway. Oh, don't change shields. What are you doing, Scooter, you fool? Never change shields now that you have this knowledge of the, f the fact the game has a homing attack. Oh! Speaking of the homing attack, let me lose it really quick. Can I get another 100 rings for one up at this point? It'll it'll get off of this shortly. 
This is the effect of Green Hill Zone, so it'll change shortly. Anyway. Isometric platforming is a is a bad move. Oh, I see. Don't play a game for ages. Get bad at it. I see how this works now. Uh, I hit him, but I don't think I don't think it counted. Oh, about those, the, the fact that, the fact that they behave differently based on their, 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 uh, appearance. I don't know if I ever talked about that when I did the, uh, project a while ago, but I know I, oh, never mind, I lied. Hold on, we have to have an appreciation post. There we go. Appreciation post has ended. Anyway, I need to get 50 rings in this area, but I forget if I can get all of that right now. Probably not. Oh, well, that just kind of shot everything in the foot. Who would have thought controlling this is hard? Well, I'm at least going to go break it open. Zoop whoop shoop shoop doop whoop 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 be. Hi Tails. Bye Tails. I'm a top, I'm a top, I'm a top, I'm a top. <laughs> Okay, enough of that. Bad idea incoming! That actually worked out, I don't believe it. Anyway, I gotta return back to this area later. I can't return back to this area, can I? Probably not. Oh no, I can. I just remembered I can. In fact, I will do that. I will do that very thing right now. Uh, as soon as I go the right way to do it. There he is. Alright, now, ju now just to not be stupid. I know. A tall ask. Yeah. Hi, Tails. I'm back. Oh, I can feel my computer's gonna freak out on me when I get to one of the more stressful parts of this one. Alright, already got that.
I could use more score, I think. I thought one of those would break open. Boy, am I sorely mistaken. Anyway, I don't think I need to do this, but I'm gonna do it because it's fun. I went back to the I went back to the beginning of this section because I'm SMRT. Sega Nomad. Oof. Sega's attempt at being the Switch before the Switch. Which, hey, um, speaking of the Switch, random PSA, be nice to your Switch. I'm only saying this because, uh, buddy mine, your Schiller. He is currently, he's currently in Japan because he's going to compete at EVO. Currently on a, currently on a, uh, he's, he's very good at Smash, but he's, um, he's currently on a quest to try and meet Masahiro Sakurai by any means po pos uh, possible. So he's in Japan right now for EVO. And he's got somebody there that knows Japanese so he can get around everything. But he was going to play, I think it was Pokémon. Oddly enough, he's gonna play Pokemon with somebody, and he dropped a switch. I'm just gonna grab it. Sorry, controller for this one. He dropped a switch, and this popped off and all the way up. The little latch that goes that goes on your switch to keep the, the controller secure. So now he just has a dud Joy-Con, I think. Uh, I gotta remember, I think Knuckles is in this area. If he is, he's behind this one? No, not that one. Is it, is it an upstate New York over here? A farm in upstate New York, if you would. No, it's not. Okay, he's in area three. Oh, no, I remember where it is. Well, no, I remember where a couple things are. I, who said you could do that? Did mom say? There we go. All right, it's just a shortcut. Dot. Gosh dang it. Mom said he could do that. Oh shoot. Oh, I think I remember how you're supposed to get in there. Safely, at least. And it's gonna suck because I'm using a controller that doesn't have very good dead zones. Case in point. Oh boy. Oh my god. I am a fantastic fraud. Woo! I have three birds, but four available. The hunt begins. Found him! Uh, 
Ugh. I'm gonna go back to the first area to get rings to go visit Knuckles, aren't I? Well, before I do that and lose all my rings again, let me... Let me at least get this all situated. Really now? Fine, I'll do it right next to it, because that's smarter. Hi, Knuckles. Bye, Knuckles. Bird. Nope, fuff, fuff. Gonna have that happen at least once per all day. Okay. Well, no rings. Okay, one ring. Well, I'll worry about the birds later. This is more important right now. Hi, Knuckles. <laughs> hey, can you hold? Can you hold this ring? I'll, I'll touch you eventually. Hold on. Uh, touch. Thanks for holding that ring. I'm gonna go die now. I found my birdie friends. Okay. Well, let's go back to old areas and find more rings. Maybe. Except I think that's gonna be a tall ass, considering I've cleaned out the rest of this world for the most part. Yeah, very much so. I'm half tempted to just take the L on this one. And there's the L. Wow, I am. Man said, take your lumps. And I said, no thanks, I don't want to. Okay, but I took them anyway. Okay, first things first. Shield. Second thing second. Go break open the door now. Third thing's third. Now gather some rings. And then pirouette like a boss. Never had that interaction in my many years of playing this game. Help. Like I saw it happening before I even before I even stopped spinning. Anyway. Um random topic subject change. Oh wow, I I have to go back and get more rings. Random subject change. I hope you guys are having a good Saturday. Or good Saturday night, rather. I was effectively the biggest bum in, in my state. Although, I guess not, not really so much because I didn't, because it snowed yesterday, but I didn't go to work yesterday because I... Because I spun out, a, I well, not necessarily spun out, but I lost control of my vehicle a couple times. But before I even got a mile towards work, and I just said, "Nah, I'm not gonna bother." So I've been sitting. I've pretty much been here. I've pretty much been here either. Um. Yeah, I've pretty much been here working on video stuff, or shoveling snow since. What, 6 o'clock yesterday, effectively? 6 o'clock yesterday morning? 7 o'clock, actually. And I've been and I've been eating tons of popcorn. There, I've done nothing wrong. I've been I've had like an, an insatiable craving for popcorn. So I've had like 
three bags of popcorn in the past 36 hours. Listen there, you're just mad that I'm playing- you're just mad that I'm playing the best game. The best Sanic ever made. Ah, oh, that's a lie. I know it's a lie, but roll with me. Hit. Hit. Got it. Nailed it. Can't- can't be stopped. A, Steven. Oh. Oh yeah, shoot, Nera. You- you missed it. I beat Indivisible on Thursday. Sonic Shuffle. Lol. Well, as I've shown before for the, uh, for the Pirate Police, but I mean, it does sit on my shelf. So... This is Little Scooter's copy, by the way. This isn't a repro- This isn't like a I bought it from a used game store. This is my original copy. Of course, being a dumb kid, I don't have the jewel case that came in. Because, you know... Who keeps a jewel case for a game? And he... Oh yeah. Indivisible was... Like, I made my top 10 list a long time ago. But I would say Indivisible is... For what little I had played of it at the time, I rated it as my number 4 game from last year. I would definitely have bumped it up to number 2. Bad Croc. Okay, Croc is a good game, but Bad Croc. Okay, Croc isn't so much a good game. Oh, boy. Please. Look, I like Croc Legend of the Gobbles, but don't make me replay Croc, Croc Legend of the Gobbles. I can't... I don't think I can stomach that, that, those controls right now. Hit. Kiap. Kiap. Look at me go. I'm a, I'm a mastermind. I'm a criminal mastermind. Call me Kingpin. Eh, uh, still call me Kingpin. Okay, I'm at the, I'm at the target, so... I'm 50 over target. There we go. I think... I'm gonna go check on Steam really quick. Okay, that's what I thought. So yeah, if anybody was indivisible, curious about indivisible, it is on sale as part of Steam's Lunar New Year sale. So it is twenty six dollars instead of its normal thirty five or forty. So go nuts. Learn of the story of Ajna and find out why I have an unhealthy. I have an unhealthy relationship with Rosmi. Rosby, Rosby has become new best girl. I will fight on this one. <laughs> I've got all the Chaos Emeralds now, right? Yeah, I do.
Dang, it's not high enough. Hit! Oh yeah, this is happening. It's not. Okay, it's not happening. <laughs> Place. Meanwhile, in chat, Ner I just see Nera shit post shit post loudly. <laughs> yeah, because I've done I've done both I've done I've completed tails and knuckles segments in both. Dang it! I could I have completed tails and knuckles segments in every act up to this point, and I just completed knuckles in this one. So yeah, that should be it. I really, sh I really should configure some dead zones on this controller, just to make hitting diagonals a lot easier, or put a hat, or get the hat switch running. I don't need to do that anymore, because I'm using the joystick for this right now. But uh, yeah, yeah, damn it. Oh wait, hold on, I remembered something just now. Oh, I thought there was a one up in that corner. Oh well. Oh, there is. I just brushed up against it. Like, for anybody who, like, I won't spoil anything, but like, as mu I will spoil as little as I can about Indivisible, but like, there was a point towards the end there where I had to say goodbye to everybody, and I mean everybody I'd recruited at that up to that point in the game. The hardest one to do was Rosby. Like, I actually had a couple tears well up. God damn it. Help me with my lack of dead zones on this controller. No, it's like more painstaking that, because you actually have to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with each one of them. Where you actually just say, goodbye, I don't think I'll ever see you again, goodbye. And then they, and then they just fade away, because you have to do this inside your inner realm, so they just fade away. That's a spinny. Like everybody else had something that was kind of themed around him. Like Latigo, the last guy I picked up, he's like, he just said, "Well, you helped me tra track down my old partner and kill him, so I owe you, I owe you something for doing that at the very least." Phoebe goes on about her kids and how, about her kids about how. Uh, if Ajna make, makes it out of the situation to that they'll meet up on the other side, you know, all this stuff. Rosby was the hardest, because it's just like it, she just she just goes. She just has she just like she just starts all the conversation going. Rosby, I have to say goodbye. I don't wanna say goodbye. I want to. I don't want to. But I don't feel like I should. Damn it. I don't need all these rings. Fine. I'm not gonna go exploring. We're just gonna go beat the level. And she, uh, you know, like that typical character trope of how she is, just like. I just like, I really got. I'm glad, really glad I, met to, I got to meet you, Rajmi. And she's like, I never said I liked you. Go away.
Hi, Gaia. And of course, Raj me doing the Raj me thing. It's like, if I find if I find you after this, I'm gonna trap. If I find out you died, I'm gonna find your spirit and trap it in my lantern, so you can never get away. That's the Raj me I know. It's she's she's like Sundari, but she's also very she's very grotesque. Come here, birdies. All birdies report in. I don't know, Rosby was my favorite character was my favorite character in that. And then it was Kampong. And then Tungar. <laughs> no, I lied. Get this, and then I'm going. I'm going for extra credit. Extra credit, boys. Let's go. Hi, tails. Yeah, that's probably the best way to describe Rajmi. Very intense pessimist. But now, like I said, I think it was, I think it's Rajmi, then Dar, then Kampan, and then Tungar. I think that's like the cast in order of who I like, who I like. And then Ren, hold on, Ren might be better than Tungar, I forgot about Ren. Typical, and I, you, I use this term very loosely, but typical man slut character in anime. Okay, tails. Uh, let's let's do, let's do this to make sure if I, I got all the chaos emeralds. Man, whore, man, slot. Interchangeable in my brain, cause my cause my brain poops. Oh, Leilani was cute. That was probably the. That was probably also a fun, uh, a really touching goodbye. Saying goodbye to Leilani, because just like, if we see each other again, I'm making you the best meal ever, and we're inviting everybody. Hell yeah! I don't know. Props to that girl, cause she took, cause she took the effect. She effectively made a mag a magnificent stew out of 150 proof alcohol, laxatives, and uh, what was the last one? I forget the last. I forget the last thing. Ah, birdies! My butt. My birdies and my butt. <laughs> hey, Arcadia, and thank you, and or I guess actually, whatever you prefer. Thank you, thank you for uh, good job. Or yeah, hat and time, fun. Also, thank you for the bits. My my English bad. Uh, Zelos. Oh, Zelos is the guy who has the uh, pink crop top, isn't he? I think I remember Zalos. Very, very lightly. <laughs> you mean Snatcher? You mean Youngtown? Sub the Youngtown. Like I would like to say I'm doing it for a bit, but I'm not. That actually is young. That actually is young town. <laughs> okay.
I can do this. I know how to cheese this one. Hit. I've done it in the past. Alright, I'm amazing at this game. Nobody can tell me otherwise. Ugh. Help. Oh, this is gonna be a fun boss. With with my messed up controls. Come on. Bring me in. Go for the kill. Uh. Actually, everything is Daijobu. I missed the jump, but we're okay. I want to land back on the hand. Hey, look, I get two hits. Everything is Daijobu. <laughs> Hello, Mama Jelly. Oh boy, Spring Stadium! Everybody loves this stage. I can play now. Oh, oh, see, oh god, hip, yeah, hip, yeah, okay. Everything is back to, everything's back as God intended. And nothing is out of order. Everything is, everything is Keikaku. Don't ask. I'm panicking for words. You know, as I do. Stage is big dumb. Because hey, what if we take terrible controls? What if we took ter what if we took the subpar controls and put it on the pinball table from from the, all the other Sonic games? Also, I don't remember where our buddy is. Eh, not over here. Is I guess no, there's not one more. Okay, they're all up here now. Pitch my bird's butt! I hate you, Orange Bird. I hate you with a dying passion. Convenient, because this is what I'm doing next! This one. Oof. You definitely don't have to go into specifics, but I mean, good luck. Good luck for Tuesday then. Surgery is never fun. I won't say for what reasons I say I give you that statement, because they end up will making things worse than better. But I just will say never. Never a good time when you have to do that. Uh, give me, give me the sacred orb. Give me sacred orb. Oh, I but I'm not super. I'm not really scared of. Okay, I don't mean to like deflect this back into myself. So I apologize for me doing as as such. Like, I'm not super scared of operating as much, because, like, I've been in and out. Oh, hi, Tails. I don't need to talk to you. I have been in and out of, like, operating tables, op or operating rooms and ER visits and all that jazz for a long time, given family history and the various operations my, my dad has had over the years. 
it's not so much the actual going into those that, that bugs me. It's seeing others like that that usually gets me freaked out or whatnot because... I don't know. Hit. It's just seeing it's just seeing somebody who normally is a strong individual just having a wire running down their wrist and just sitting up on the bed like this. Like I just do not like that. Yes, that was an AGDQ. Was that SGDQ or AGDQ? I know it was a 2019 one. Hi na hi Knuckles. Guys, Knuckles the Akadnaga is here. Knuckles the Ocarina is here. Ha! -ha I did the jump. Oh god, I did the jump. But I should say that like I'm not I'm not a stranger to that kind of stuff because right up until about the age of twelve, I for with I would I would go to I would go to the ER or doctor I would go to the ER or doctor once a year with bronchitis when I was a very young lad. Allergies, they're great, they're not. Don't ever get allergic to anything. There's a good chance that there's a good there was probably a good chance growing up that I would have you know ceased to be, we'll say. For lack of a better term, because I've I always was on an operating room table of some kind. Oh good. Orange come here. Orange come here, you're the only one. Hold on. There we go. Eh. I don't know. People deal with it in their own ways. Like I said, I'm used to it for that reason. You know, I want to say that I probably have been to the ER enough in my life where I won't need to revisit that until I'm well into my 50s. Hopefully. You know, God forbidding. God or any other deity forbidding, I should say, rather. Come here. Come, come here. Come hither. To me. Pink bird to me. Thank you. Because, all right, this will be a little, this will be a little grotesque, so I mean, I can't play with one hand. So, here. If you guys aren't good with squeamish, or if you guys are squeamish, I mean, I'll do this when I'm doing this. That'll basically be the plug your ears now, because I'm going to talk about squeamish things for half a minute. And then when I bring it back down, it'll be safe. So... When I was, I want to say like, when I was 13, yeah, 13, I was out much like you do when you're, when you're young, you, you go out and you shovel snow because, hey, you're a kid, you are given, you are given tasks to remind you that, hey, you have responsibilities later in life that you don't get paid for, so go shovel snow. So I'm shoveling our deck, and we have, and we have, a. Uh, our basement is an outdoor basement. Rather, it's underneath the house, like most basements are, but you have to go outside, around, down some steps, and open up slant, like, uh, doors that are slanted like this. So you have to open it up like that, uh, to the side. But they were, they were strong enough metal doors that you could stand on them. Uh, at the time, my mom, my mom was babysitting. She, ba she did, she did babysitting to kind of bring in some extra money while my dad was a construction manager. So it was a snow day and I was shoveling just to kind of clean up the snow and give myself something to do instead of playing video games on my day on my day home from school. And these little kids are uh, little kids are or yeah. The little kids my mom was watching were were looking at me shoveling snow, you know, pointing, making funny faces. So I walked up on I walked up on these cellar doors. Or I walked up on the cellar doors and you know made funny faces back at them and whatnot, yada yada. I started moving around too much. I slipped and I fell. It's like, oh, that was embarrassing. So I got up and I went back. 
I went back out. You know, I went I went back out and went about my shoveling. Finished all my shoveling, which was like another half hour, 45 minutes worth of it. Or no, it wasn't a snow day. This was after school, because I remember it was dark when we eventually got did get to the ER. When we eventually did get to the ER. Um Oh god. Hey, they're both right here. Ha ha how funny. Um, but yeah, it was dark when you got to the ER. So, and I went in, and my mom being how she is, she's like, oh, it looks like you took a very nasty, fa nasty fall out there. Let me, are you sure you're okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I just kept walking, and she turned on and said, oh my god, get to the bathroom. Okay, and I was like, okay, so I went and I went into the bathroom. I had fallen on top of the shovel on my left side, just below my ass cheek. And took a cubic inch of flesh out of my out of my leg. I had to go into the ER and get stitches, and couldn't walk or really do much properly for a good solid week while that all healed. And keep in mind, I didn't even feel it at the time. I kept shoveling, like nothing happened. So when anybody tells you shoveling snow in Wisconsin is not dangerous, you tell them you know some asshole online who did that to themselves. Oh good, a difficult jump approaches. All right, let's get the dead zone set up. I feel that sentiment as well, Mama Jelly. There's a couple, there's several channels I watch. There are several channels that I also watch where I've got like, I've got like, since the channel points came about and I've been able to spend some of my free time actually watching other people's streams recently. Now that I'm done with that whole top 10 video and I'm caught, caught up on my video stuff for a while. Like, I wish I could donate some of my some of my points because I'm sitting on like 5k on some people's channels. And I might not be sub to most of them, but I don't know what to do with those points. They're just sitting there. Uh-huh, joke's on you. I got, the, I got the flicky. I'm out. I'm outie. Deuces. Alright, this boss. The how many circles can you run, boss? Like, this is literally all I do to fight the boss, and I realize some people are having... Are having, like, you know... Uh, eyesight issues while doing this, because, man, these colors are bright. These colors are bright and very repeating, and they're not nice to look at. Uh oh! Totally planned. I used to be really good at this, at this whole pattern. Like, I would hit that spring and I would just do loops around uh, Robotnik like this. Also, keep remember, in America, he was still known as Robotnik at this point. He wasn't known as Eggman yet. 
or for some games known as Robotonic. Cause it seems like everybody's but everybody's been like playing Sonic the Fighters recently for some reason. And I mean like everybody's been playing Sonic the Fighters. Where I didn't even notice that they misspelled Roboton Ro Robotnik as Robotonic. Way. You know, I was really hoping the grid was going to go away because I remember Diamond Dust having this snow pattern and I thought that was how the whole floor was shaped up after this. But nope, I'm wrong. Send me on my way. Hey, I said send me on my way. You know what, that's fair. Send me on my way. And away he goes, at the speed of nothing. Anyway, Tails is up here. Or Knuckles, I guess, rather. Hi, Knuckles. I'll be honest, this is... I used to play this game constantly. I'm getting a little sight sick, too. I didn't... I thought... I figured the grid design would have... Dang it. I thought the grid design would have... Or the grid design was just... Would have... Uh, would have would have not been that bad years later. Or, play, or revisiting it tonight. It's, uh... It kind of sucks. Bad bunny. Oh, you can break this. Neat. I didn't think you could. Okay, that's a return point. Careful. Careful with that one, Weaver. That one's... That one's been... That one's provoked people in online communities. All three of them. Play me off, Jerry. Jerry, you played me off into the wrong place. Oh my god, they got rid of my shield, I just realized. It's that bad bunny. Oh god, it's the bad bunny. Nobody fly off the cliff. Hey, 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 hey. I hate you. And now the pink one's gonna come down here too. Well, if it makes anybody feel better who's having sight sickness issues, we're seven worlds from the end? I think it's this one, Gene Gadget, and... Yeah, I think it's this world, Gene Gadget, a Puppet Panic, and then that's it. Well, good to know you like this, like this stage. I think this... Um, this is actually, this song, the Diamond Dust song, is actually the only song that is featured in uh, Sonic Generations. With a, with a, I don't know if it's just the original track or the remix, but this is the, but this is the only song featured in Sonic Generations from 3D Blast. Oh, Lava Zone. I forgot about LOL Lava. Bad Bunny. Get the Pangu. To 
destroy Pengu. Oh. Ow. I'm fine, just... I'm okay, just... I talked about this on Twitter earlier today, but... Um, part of my workout regimen on the weekends, I started doing a... I started doing a hundred... I started doing like a hundred sit-ups and as many push-ups as I can do before I get exhausted as well as my normal run as part of my work, daily workout. My ass hurt! Ha, ah, jump on you. Dang it. I didn't get the jump. I did not get the jump on him. I got the jump on him that time. Currently two days of doing it, and I and I'm already regretting my decision to increase my workout regimen. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. As God intended, that's the way it should be done. Uh, what is this? Good shield? It's good shield. It's homing attack shield. Yeah! Hi, Tails. Well, I lost good shield. I hope everybody's happy. Yeah, Volcano Valley, where they have, where they randomly change up one of the flicky designs for no discernible reason. Look, I'm just gonna slow walk up this hill. I'm gonna moonwalk this hill. Okay, come here, Greenbird. I also think that there might be, you guys might be getting a little bit of a headache watching this here and there because the frame rate's like going sporadic on, it's going sporadic on me as well while I'm sitting here playing this. So differentiating frame rates are happening and I'm not, it's not helping me either. I saw, dude. Oh, hi, Knuckles. I want to go behind you. Okay, there's nothing behind Knuckles. Knock, knock, it's Knuckles. What is that? I. There's one of those song. There's one of those song things, or one of those song like uh, mashes out there, and I can't remember the name of it. But it's a song out there where it just where like. It, it they do it's a mashup of uh. Unknown from ME with something else. And it just starts out with, like, you know, the the melody line of the song. And, and then it just has Sonic screaming, Oh no! And then it kicks in with the rap, you know, Here I come, rougher than the rest of them. <laughs> Free hunted P, he did nothing wrong. <laughs> The fact that it's an actual rapper that covered that, and not just like a throwaway a throwaway artist that Sega got for the day, is the funniest part to me. Uh, you have balls, yes? Yeah, oh no, you make balls. I have to jump over your balls. Mmm, more balls. Nailed it. I want. I, I feel like it's a Botanic Sage remix, but I can't remember pr properly. Oh! I done got got! G hit him! Dang it.
about face. Just, uh, that's probably still the, uh, that's probably still the bit that, I'm pretty sure he's, he's evolved past both ways. I think it's the bit that Jontron is probably most known for still. Is just the throwaway line of, hmm, more balls. Uh, hey, 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 yeah. I'm winning. Oh, uh, that's what it was? I just knew there was a thing going around for a while where Honda P got... Got, uh, did get... Got arrested. And... I don't know. It just kind of became a joke am amongst people. Kind of came a joke amongst uh, among clicks of to just say three hundred p, and then they play the and then they play unknown from Emmy or Pumpkin Hill. That's also Kobe's thing. Shouts out to Kobe, you know, the OG Sonic man. Nothing's wrong with him. He just stopped doing videos because he got because he couldn't take the pressure. Like, that's actually the thing. Okay. So is that just the... I think that's just the pink one recolored, but I always thought it was just, like, a baby bat. Oops, missed. Oh, hi, Knuckles. I don't need to go anywhere. Thanks, though. This song is very... I don't ever remember this song being this chill. Uh, Orange, you want to come back? You know what? I'll come back for you, Orange. As you proceed to run on lava. Ha! How did I do that? That's what I was looking for. Okay, now that I'm impervious to fire. Orange, where? Found him. Don't ask how I saw him in this mess here. Huh. I'm having a newfound appreciation for this track. Spastic bug thing. I also thought about uh, something, like I said, I was going to kind of just play a grab bag here tonight of games. Not sure exactly what until I get to that moment. But for some reason, I was about to say, I was about, I said, well, I said Spastical Gremlin, and it made me remind me that I, that Team Fortress 2 is a game, but I don't think, I don't think people would want to watch Team Fortress 2, especially because not everybody here is elite Steam gamer from circa 2007-ish. Just get. I remember one of the sniper's lines, because every because in that game, like everybody has a has a has a line for every character when they dominate them, like a character specific line interaction. And one of the snipers, when if he dominates the scout, is just basically a gremlin. All right, hey, who wants to lose all 100 rings? Because I sure do. Why to go in this hole? That probably just has tails. Or a fire shield. That was the hopeful outcome, actually.
Yeah, help. Okay. Step one, acquire bird. Step two, acquire lag. Step three. Step four, bacon tacos. No, don't go down. I realize that's in your programming to go as far down as possible, little green bird, but do not go down. Eh. They say it's an F it's they, they say it's an FPS game that everybody can play, but th the, but then they forget about the fact of oh there's people that don't like to play FPS games in general. It's a thing that happens. Okay, almost died in the first on the first encounter. Go me. Okay, there's a fire. There it is. There. Now I am I am safe from my own stupidity. He, I say this and then probably immediately get bodied by something. I feel like the fire shield is a necessity when you're in this area. Like there's if you do not have the fire shield, just reset just turn off the game and reset. Unplug your controller, dog! <laughs> We'll save that one for later. Listen, I have no doubt in my abilities to be dumb enough to get myself hit in here in this area where you pretty much just need the fire shield. Uh, for somebody who doesn't play Smash as much as he uses, used to, I'm surprised I say that line as much as I do. I don't know, it, it feels like it's become kind of a cultural thing at this point, just to say that line. Like, you get five, like, you get reverse 3 0 by by a Solomar. That's when you unplug the controller. Or Sopo in the, in the current game. All right, forward until someone's dawn. I don't know where I am anymore. I'm lost. Get mom. Go get mom, I'm lost. Oh, I just fall on went backwards. Or no, I didn't. We're fine. Also, I know I've talked about this several times already, but again, keeping top stringy topics together as best as I can. Hi, Tails. Um, I think uh, because Byleth, you know, just got announced this week. Yeah, this week. Uh, Byleth got announced as the last DLC, and I think I. I think I understand, I like, I think somebody else's video on it kind of put it in perspective why everybody is not excited for Byleth, like, in the slightest. It's because there are, there are, honestly, too many fire, fire element characters. Byleth, it's, uh, Byleth, their self, I feel like it's a great pick. Just because the character's gonna have fun, uh, it's, the character's gonna be fun and gonna be a great ranged character alternative to like some of the others we've had in this game. Like something to counter, something to counter uh, the Belmonts. And plus it feels like, at least from what I can discern, at least from what I can discern, I have not played Three Houses, but I feel like uh, Byleth does encapsulate what, uh, dang it, what it feels like to play Fire Emblem, uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, in that you have a character that is proficient in everything, or can become proficient in everything. So let them use every weapon type that is available, every main weapon type in Fire Emblem.
What color is that last bird? I didn't jump! I need to find a fire shield. <laughs> Dang it. So like me personally? Me personally? Byleth? Great. Everybody else will be entitled to their own opinions for obvious reasons, but... Kind of want to get that on quote-unquote public record to say that... that to say that I am not against it. You know, the person who has never played a, a normal Fire Emblem game, or a traditional Fire Emblem game, is okay with, with the inclusion of another Fire Emblem character like that. <sighs> All right, this boss is gonna be great. Mainly because I can't see where I'm landing. Get out of there. I have no self preservation tactics. Problem. Problem arises. <laughs> oh, this will be the boss, won't it? Okay. Precise platforming. By the way, precise platforming in an isometric in an isometric game. Bad idea. Which is why we're gonna brute force it. The the good old the, the good old fashioned Sonic way. Brute force. I love it. So, conceptually wise, or yeah, conceptually wise, or music wise, this is not my favorite stage. Everything else wise, this, I think, the Gene Gadget, oddly enough, is my favorite stage in this. Ow! Mom, Timmy, hurt me! Mom, Tommy, hurt me! Mom, Timmy, and Tommy took all my lunch money for for their uncle for their uncle Tom. And now, I'm now I'm forced to pay off a debt I didn't want. Come here, we're leaving. Yeah, that was that was that was a uh, that was just a call out to to all I think pretty much, pretty much everybody in this chat oddly enough like that was a call out to all of you in chat because I know in two months I'm gonna lose you for at least a month solid while you play uh, New Horizons. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna be here going, hmm, I should probably pick up Doom Eternal. Turn on the fans. Make sure the bird stays set, stays in place. Man, you know, I'm gonna sound like an I'm gonna sound like an old fight daddy here, but man, Mama Jelly, you're not wrong. Trials of Mana. I think that comes out. I think that comes out. Was it March 20th or was it April 20th? I forget. Or was it still to be determined? Cause I'm getting it on I'm getting I'm getting in on Trials of Mana. I'm gonna get in on I'm getting in on it.
Game has problems. Game has returned back to Earth. Okay, it is April. No, I saw a po- No, that's the thing. I think I scared a bunch of people because I was like, because I was like, oh yeah, Trails of Mana comes out and I think I said it came out or I, no, I scared myself because I said, oh yeah, Trails of Mana is coming out. Wait, when is that? And I panicked because I thought I missed the window to order it and get it all for my, and get it all set up for myself. Because I really want in on that game. Because I've seen so many people, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, uh, H.T. Bailey's playthrough of it and realize how massive of a game that is. Like, one store, like, once, like, one set of stories. There's effectively three stories with, with two starting points per story. But, like, the fact, the game is absolutely massive when you think, oh yeah, it's, it's a game, it's a, it's an RPG, so it's going to be big. Like, one of the three stories easily will take you about, will probably easily take you about 40 hours. And then you have the, and then you have the other three stories to go through still. Well, it just reminds me. There's a song that like semi details that that whole that whole thing with uh, Second Dead Set 2 3. How uh, it got. I made it to a place. And I'm not making it out of a place. There's oddly enough an OC remix song out there that called uh, Splash Hop. I don't know what it's based off of, and I'll go look it up really quick actually. You know me doing my thing that I do, uh, where I just search up random things. Let's see, remix splash. Mute site, open it up. Song. Uh, it doesn't say specifically. Hold on, let me open this up and see if it says. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't know what song it's based off of. But like this song is basically uh, basically just like, hey, here's the it's like the history the history of how Second Densetsu 3 got translated to get to over to us in America originally. So let me It's playing. Oh, because I muted this. I forgot to unmute the site. Go me. Like, I don't know what this is based on. Oh, apparently I... It did the splash hop from Japan to the states where it dropped. It's the splash hop. It did the splash hop. It might take five years, but it reached the last stop. It's a town theme. Okay, good to know. That's all I want. That's all I kind of need confirmation on is it, what it, what it kind of stems from. Yeah, they actually, I mean, everybody, everybody that knows me knows that I like, 
will talk up and down the street about how great OC Remix is, but they actually have an entire album that's of Sick and Dead Setsu 3. Free, of course. Much like with everything OC Remix does, it's free. I think they have, like, links to donate and stuff, but... I think they have links to donate, which I really should donate to those guys, considering, you know, how much of their music I've used in, mid in videos. Benangle my way up. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's just jump back up. Or go back down. Dang it. But yeah, OC Remix, everything they do is free. And in fact, I think they have a, uh... If you really want to be that extra, I think they, I think, um, like weekly or maybe even daily at this point, they may have automated it. They have something set up. They have a uh, torrent set up where you can download all, you can download every single remix they've ever done. Every single one. You can download individuals, but you can download in every single remix they have ever done ever since, oh God, when was the internet around? Like 1999? <laughs> Ah. Uh. Hell yeah, orange chicken. I don't think I've ever had orange chicken, oddly enough. I'm I'm the guy that goes with General Sows almost every single time. Yeah, I didn't know OC Remix had issues. I'm pretty sure that they say in like almost their on their pay I mean, again. I'm not very knowledgeable. Last time I looked at about using their stuff, they had said, you know, they had like a statement that says, yeah, uh, they, they said, that's, that said, you can use, you can, uh, you can use everything on our website. It's content creator friendly and all that jazz. But who knows, people over time may get jealous and be like, oh no, it's not. It. But I do like, if I ever use something from OC Remix, I do like, I do, like, directly credit the artist, or artists. Because I'll say, oh, this song is da -da -da, by this artist. Uh, what is it? In fact, uh, Big Giant Circles. The, the, pfft, words are hard. Big Giant Circles, the group of dudes who do chiptune stuff. Who do chiptune stuff, and it actually, and, uh, their stuff has been featured in, uh, Help me. God damn it. Um, I'm gonna go that way first. After I get a couple, after I get a couple rings. Oh, I'm up here. Nice. Stupid octopus. Um. But yeah, big giant circles. Like I uh. I think they put it on Kickstarter? Oddly enough. But, uh, Big Giant Circles had their album, or ha put out an album recently that I backed, and they did they have a statement out there just like, hey, uh, if you use the music, as long as you just credit us, uh, credit us that we made the track, you can use it, we don't care. Ah, Octopi! He shot my bird! He shot my bird in the butt! Um... I probably won't be having dinner for a little while. Not due to laziness, but like... Not due to like laziness or anything like that. More or less, I uh... My day started at 11. And with how I do my workout now, my, da my daily workout on the weekends, at least until I get in shape, or at least it is in shape as I want to be. Uh, well, I wasn't done work. I wasn't done working out until about 1:30. Oops. And the, and even then, I uh, still had to shovel a bit, so I didn't eat until four. Yeah, my first meal today, which was fish, I didn't have till four. Ooh boy.
Oh no. I still eat. I still do normal meals. And all that jazz. That uh I don't do the I don't do the intermittent fasting or, or anything of that sort. If I do it's it's generally on accident. Like I said, the last few days I've basically had nothing but popcorn. I've basically been eating like nothing but popcorn. I've been I've been I've been having cravings for pop for just base popcorn non-stop. Oh yeah, I remember my tactic for fighting this. Just let the conveyor belt take you away and then hold up or right, depending upon where you want to go. Tis a dumb boss. Hey, no, you're gonna take your lumps. I said you're gonna take your lumps. Now I'm gonna get rings so I don't die. I'm the greatest. I am the greatest at Sonic. I'm not, but I say it to keep up a, a facade. Title screen music! Ow! Rude. Uh, crap. Oh, that's how we do it. Okay. Got it. Totally meant to do everything that you saw there. 100%. Yuck percento, even. Now, I love this track. This is like the happiest final stage track ever in Sonic, which is so strange that I say now I say that. Dang it. I'm gonna be here a while, because I have to fight my controller. There we go. There we go. Also, I'm pretty sure we're past the point of seeing Tails and Knuckles, so... Haha! <laughs> no more- no more friends. Uh oh. Come here. Don't hurt yourself, Birdie. It's not worth it. Yeah. Help. No. Bad. Don't touch. As I proceed to touch. Aha! Uh, -huh. uh, there's one more around here somewhere. Okay, I have four birds. I was like, wait, I'm missing one. I'm missing, I'm missing one of my birds. They're just fly, frolicking out in the field. Okay, we can finish. Did I go to the one they expected? No, I didn't. Good. Aha! I am untouchable! I am unstoppable! I am the greatest! And I wasted it. You. All right, this stage is super short. And I think that's the last stage of Flickies too. I think like everything from here on out is just a straight shot to the end. This song. As I proceed to get bullied everywhere I go. <laughs> what 
Whatever. I'm going in. Oh. This is just the beginning. Go me. Living fast and free. I don't have to. F oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay, it's not that one. Why did I think that was an enemy I could jump on? I, I will never understand scooter logic. Here it is. Also, speaking of bangers, whoop, go around the eyeballs. Speaking of bangers, I've, I've re just because of his involvement with TRG stuff, I'll little admit how I found out about him. I've been watching a lot of Ape, uh, Ape Drummer stuff recently. Like, not everything, just some of it. Uh, help. Uh, help. And I always gotta wonder, like, what is some of the, uh, like, what is something obscure that I could throw at that guy that he would just, well, through however he gets his submissions, of course, but what is something I could throw at that guy for him to play that he has never seen or played? Get out of here! Ah! I'm amazing. I asked for that one. Okay, no checkpoints, so I just gotta zip, zop through again. That's not the way. No stopping. No mercy. No mercy for me, apparently, because I can't... I can't control myself. I'm getting an extra life. No, I okay. Well, I'll get it somewhere else. I'm fine. I got this all under control. Nobody panic. See, nobody panic. Help me. Okay. Well, this is not my fate. Listen, when I want to be a gaming god, I can be. It just requires a very select set of needs at that moment. Most of them most of them involve what's left what's left in the fridge. God, I must be starving. Even though I didn't eat dinner, even though I didn't even eat lunch till four o'clock, God, I must be starving. Oh well. Yeah, right. Dropbox. Into the nose. It's funny. You go in the nose to enter the boss fight. Hey, hey, ho, ho, and hey, hey, ho, ho. All right. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Okay, you hit me. Good job. I'll take my lumps. I need to get my ring back. Good job, me.
Oh, well, I got all the rings on this floor. Dang it. Dang it. Come here. This is high level gameplay time. Sorry, I'm going to be a little focused. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can just chill here and jump occasionally. Oh, no, it's not this one. Uh, how did I hit how did I not hit that arm? Frame perfect even. Don't panic. I'm a professional. I'm a professional idiot. I get paid to do this. I don't get paid to do this. There, one's down. Sign me up for AGDQ. I'm getting frame perfects on this stuff. Oh, this is the one. Nope, this is the one. How am I not hitting it? This one, you just kind of hope and pray a little bit. There is a sweet spot. Or am I thinking about the next boss? I think I'm thinking about the next boss where there's a sweet spot. Ow. Ring's gone. There, done. Sign me up for AGDQ, man. Don't. I'm taking incredibly long in this game. I'm not gonna learn to speedrun another Sonic game. I would like to expand my horizons a little bit beyond Sonic. The final fight. Well, that's my time to strike. I can actually hit him. There. I'm just gonna take two rings with me because I don't trust myself. Uh, flame, flame nose. Just keep on the move. So this is the one where he's gonna come out. So I have to get over there, and now we can leave. And this is the form everybody hates. I mean, in my experience, it's just keep moving. For the most part. And still get bodied. And then we jump after this. Nope, oh, too early. There we go. Hey look, it's missiles. Man. What a treat it must be to be able to just outrun missiles. No, I hit him. I don't want to hear it. Blows up! <laughs> this is the one. Magic pistol. Magic pixel, right here. You just have to jump occasionally. 
Except when you have to come out here like this. Oh, that wasn't it? Okay. I thought it was only three. And we do the cycle again. Except this time we take all the rings. I have I have a pattern for beating this game. Goddamn. Like, as much as I have now grown to, like, complain about Sonic Adventure 2, I will say that, like, the voice acting, as cheesy as it is, and the cutscenes were probably some of the- it was probably the best part of that game. System lag. Causing me to lose rings, but okay. Eh, a bit. This is the final fight. Just... Shadow, what are you doing? Get out of there before the island blows up with you on it! Blows up? <laughs> and I'm gonna come down here. You. Hit her! Shoot her! Ah, I don't have any rings. Haha, <laughs> how how embarrassing would it be to lose on the on the final boss on the final round of this? Ah, missed that. <laughs> Just <laughs> I'm in danger. Hit him. Thank you. Anyway, I'm gonna go chill in the ma magic pixel now. Three. All right, you don't. Need... There we go. <laughs> Flawless execution. I'm good at seeing it. I'm now also gonna pull up Dragalia while I let the final credits play out because I am. I have a problem. Something about the the Genesis sound chip is always it's always so nice to me. I guess that's why I like playing Duck Game as much as I do because that game is literally the Genesis sound chip exemplified. Anyway, uh, give me one second because I'm gonna do a bit while I get a game. Down the floor, I go. I mean, I could play another Traveler's Tale, Traveler Tales game. I mean, it's a possibility. I mean, gee. What game could I ever be talking about that's a Traveler's Tales game that I play way too much of, you know? I don't know what game I could possibly be thinking about 